This video covers the source of water, the impurities which present in water, as well as the source of water pollution. Uh, water is the most widely used chemical compound on the earth. As we know, in every, in every day life, we need water. So, but the useful water quantity is very, very less. The useful water or the content is only around 0.6 to 10 percent, not more than that. So, most of the water that is around in the earth, it covers around 72 percent of the uh, earth surface uh, is covered with the water. Uh, in the 72 percent, 92 percent is located in the form of ocean, about 2.1 percent is in the form of ice or glaciers, and available fresh water, which is uh, normally in the form of river, lakes, or underground amount, is only 0.6 percent. And the remaining 1 percent of water is in the form of brine wells, or even what we considered as a salty water. Okay, and the source of water. Uh, the source uh, we broadly classified into two categories. The one is surface water source and the one is a underground water source. The surface water source, under surface water source, we observe uh, four categories. Uh, we broadly classified into uh, four categories. Uh, it may be either in a still form or in flowing form. The one form of water, surface water, is a rain water, as you know. It is a purest form of water contained considerable amount of dissolved uh, gases and suspended solid particles. From the atmosphere during its downward journey, uh, we observe it may absorb some particles. It is a purest form produced from and it is produced from evaporation of surface water that you know. The second category of water is a river water. This river water usually contained a uh, dissolved mineral of these soils such as a chloride, sulfate, bicarbonates of sodium, uh, calcium, magnesium and even iron and also some organic compounds. So usually this river water is nothing but it is fed by rain or spring water contains dissolved minerals as well as uh, uh, less load of organic matter. The third form of water is a still water that is a lake water. It also uh, originated uh, by the rain water or the spring water, contains less dissolved mineral but contains high quality of uh, uh, organic matter. The fourth form of water that is a sea water, the salty water, most impure form of the uh, uh, water of natural water. It contains about 3.5% of dissolved salt out of which about 2.6% <coughs> is in the is uh, sodium chloride. Other salts are sulfates of sodium, bicarbonates of potassium, magnesium, aluminium, bromide, potassium, and magnesium. Number of other components also present. That is around 3.5 percent. We observe dissolved salt. It is a source of highly salty in nature. So these are the origin of surface water. Now we consider the groundwater. You can so uh, we can you can show uh, see the springs. These are naturally coming up free deep down on the earth. That is a spring water. And the thing is the wells and the tube wells. Uh, these sources are formed by digging earth deep down or near underground sources. So this is what we considered as a purest form of water and used in most of the uh, uh, work. These waters are used. Uh, for our uh, daily life. Then, now I consider the second thing that is impurities in water. The water found in nature is never pure, which contain large number of impurities in varying degree or varying amount. They may be broadly classified into four categories. The main source of impurities, the water takes up impurities from the, uh, you know, the ground soils or when it contact with the sewage or industrial waste organic impurities, etc. So, based on this, we categorized into uh, four categories. So, that may be a residual uh, chlorine may be present, bacteria particles, sedimented particles, chemical substance, organic matter. So, they, there are plenty of waste may be introduced to the uh, water 
so that water becomes impure what I, what we expect is it should be a pure one but unknowingly we may introduce a, some uh, extraneous or a foreign material to the water and it becomes impure one the main classification is a dissolved gas the first classification or the things is based on uh, gases which absorbed by the water. This includes dissolved oxygen, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia. Even it contains ammonia, sulfur compounds such as hydrogen sulfide which impart foul smell to water due to purification of organic matter. They decays the organic matter so it imparts, uh, it changes into hydrogen sulfide as a result it gives a foul smell. All derived from the atmosphere. It When it when the downward journey of the water it may interact with the atmospheric gases and takes uh, the atmospheric gases or dissolves in the water and uh, it get contaminated. Then dissolved solids. The water may become impure due to the presence of large quantity of uh, unwanted uh, solids like uh, dissolved salts like uh, uh, carbonates, bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates of calcium, magnesium, iron and even potassium oxide, magnesium, iron, lead, arsenic may also present in water. So these salts are derived from rock and soils which uh, 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 with which the water is in contact. In generally, groundwater contains more dissolved salts than the surface water. Then, third form of water is a uh, impurity is a suspended impurities. Uh, these are mainly insoluble minerals such as uh, clay, sand, etc., cause turbidity to water, which can be removed by filtration or settling process. There are uh, two types of uh, uh, impurities. That is, inorganic impurities. Uh, and the uh, three types inorganic, organic and colloidal. Again the inorganic impurity is uh, similar to the colloidal impurities. Okay, So the type the inorganic impurities mainly uh, clay, sand particles, iron, magnesium. Uh, they are uh, suspended impurities and the uh, vegetables and animal materials are comes under the organic impurities even wood pieces disintegrated particles dead animals leaves fishes bacteria algae protozoa organic impurities they are all considered and the third category uh, which again considered as a colloidal impurity this type of impurity gives turbidity to water and derived from suspended impurities then fourth category of uh, impurity that is microscopic matter which causes waterborne diseases. The pathogenic bacteria and microorganisms are also present in water. It usually causes waterborne diseases. Now, now I consider how the, uh, what are the sources for water pollution? And what do you mean by a polluted water? The polluted water or a water pollution is defined as any alteration in physical, chemical and biological properties of water as well as a contamination with any foreign substance which would constitute a health hazardous or uh, otherwise it decreases the utility of water. There comes under uh, uh, water, that, that water we considered as a polluted water. Any alteration in physical, chemical and biological properties of water as well as contamination with any foreign substance which would constitute a health hazardous or decreases the utility of water, they comes under water pollution or that water is considered as a contaminated one. The physical changes may be, uh, it may be the change of color or odor or a turbidity or the change of temperature. Chemical characteristics that is uh, water, sewage, uh, usually it may contain high percentage of uh, uh, solid waste, suspended, dissolved form of waste may be present. It may contain some complex organic compounds, nitrogen containing compounds. They are also considered as a, uh, chemical changes and the biological changes is mainly due to the growth of algae, algae, bacteria, fungi, protozoa uh, or usually it helps to breaking the complex compound into a simple compounds bacteria help to make uh, this one and broadly these things are the water we considered as a contaminated water so how the water gets polluted in a various way the water gets polluted uh, uh, they considered the water may get polluted due to uh, uh, the most diverging effect of industrial waste 
that uh, diversing effect of industrial waste that leads to uh, pollution uh, of water. For many industrial process, water is used, which uh, comes in contact with the harmful chemicals. And these chemicals may include organic compounds, metals, nutrients, even radioactive materials, etc. And uh, if the water is discharged after treating with the, uh, egg, uh, or after the uh, the processing, uh, the waste water is discharged without treatment. Groundwater and surface water bodies, lakes, streams, these come in contact with this waste and can become polluted. And it in turn affects the serious problem and uh, even it ha harmful to the drinking source of water. The polluted may degrade or destroy the uh, animals and even the plants. So they will be classified like a, a domestic sewage. Uh, like uh, the sewage or the waste which is released from the uh, domestic, the release of municipal or domestic waste into rivers and uh, lakes contribute to water pollution. It may contain uh, uh, human waste or kitchen waste, street waste, organic substance, etc. Usually it causes a waterborne disease. You can see the picture. So how the waste is uh, introduced to the water. The actually, uh, the, these waters are pure when we introduce uh, plenty of uh, uh, unwanted components to this water, it becomes an uh, uh, impure one. Then second possibility is the uh, industrial uh, uh, water. The release of industrial water is a waste produced by industrial activity which includes any materials which is rendered useless during manufacturing process. Uh, such as uh, factories like mining operation, etc. The uh, types of water, uh, the industrial waste, uh, which includes so uh, even uh, dirt, uh, gravels, uh, machinery, concrete, scrap, or uh, metals, oil, solvent, chemicals, um, even vegetable matters from the restaurant. So these are all are uh, introduced to the water or the river. As a result, the river water becomes uh, unwanted one. The industrial waste may be solid, semi-solid or a liquid form. It may be hazardous waste or non-hazardous one. So that again depends upon the load of waste present on this uh, water. May pollute to nearby soil or even adjust, uh, adjacent uh, water bodies and can contaminate it, groundwater, lake water, river water and even coastal uh, water. And even this industrial water is often mixed with the uh, municipal water making uh, uh, the accurate assessment of what is the content produced by the domestic water and the industrial wastewater it is difficult. The wastewater released from the industries to river lake causes uh, mainly the pollution to water. It may the industrial water like textile or leather industry they uh, release uh, plenty of uh, waste chemicals or the chemicals uh, uh, which is released in the form of uh, along with the uh, wastewater. So they may contain some uh, acid, detergent, soap, phenols and even some in, uh, inorganic waste and the pesticide companies, pharma companies, they release a huge quantity of waste along with the uh, water. So uh, it uh, pollutes the water. Then uh, water pollution from uh, agriculture farms. So agricultural uh, uh, sources of pollution includes uh, uh, body waste of animal and runoff of filter, uh, fertilizer, pesticides, in insecticides, fungicides, etc. Usually to get a good crops, we usually introduce uh, pesticides or uh, even uh, fungicides like components or the, some uh, nitrogenous material. The excess quantity is introduced to the uh, soil and in turn it is uh, uh, more into the water. Form discharge large quantity of agrochemicals, organic matter, drug residues, sediments, and even saline drainage into water bodies. And the th fourth category is the oil. So oil that leaks from our car onto road and driveways is washed into a strong rain and then usually flow directly into lake or a stream. Even the oil which is uh, used or the washing of automobile pollutes the river and uh, uh, lakes usually diesel wash when we carry the time the automobiles uh, that pollutes the river and lakes oil antifreeze and brake fluids containing heavy metals that can harm aquatic wildlife the oil form just uh, one oil change can pollute the uh, millions or gallons of uh, water just see here the oil uh, the polluted water due to the uh, flow of uh, oil and then even radioactive pollutants maybe may reduce or releases to the releases from the radioactive uh, material or the thermal power stations. These are the form of atomic explosion and processing of radioactive material near the source of water. 
so other source of waste from research laboratory even hospitals also they re releases a nuclear power plant also releases some amount of radioactive component even clay rose fine particles of soil on which water travels are added to water causing turbulence like in one or the other way the water gets polluted uh, by introducing the components these are the some pictures shows how the water gets polluted it may be due to domestic sewage these are the mainly the domestic sewage and the industrial sewage and water is polluted by agri form then uh, oil or radioactive pollutant or the clay or ores mining industries they can pollute the water thank you